Hi Pisces, this is your reading with me for July 2021. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So I have your cards right here, cleansed, saged and ready to go and we will begin. All right, so what we are going to be looking into is this month and see what is coming through for July. And of course, I wanted to mention as well before we get started that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, they are done within 24 to 48 hours with me and all the information is in the description box below. Also, there are my intention and oh, they're actually on my website as well if you're interested. There's lots of options down in the description box and uh, speaking of my website shopmoonlightguidance.com there are intention manifesting items which are handmade by me which so many people have seen results with as well so you can check out the review section on my website and there's also the handmade bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse you can check out the review section to see how other people have seen results with them and of course there's crystals divination coins charms pendulums etc from me to you everything is meditated with and saged Okay, so, Pisces, let's have a look and see what we have for you. Ooh, okay, so I am an upright reader, and we have here the Ten of Cups with Temperance. Whew, okay, Pisces, you're going to get what you want, okay? You just need to prepare a little bit for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to get what you want. Patience is a virtue, okay? When I say patience is a virtue, I don't think that you should be sitting there and waiting for your abundance to come. Stay proactive, continue to do things, you know, just like with this angel here, moving the water from one to another, there's still movement, there's still action, there's still progression, right? So I would suggest focusing on the things that you've already got going on for yourself and things are only just going to get stronger for you. Things are only going to progress further for you, move further for you and go in the right direction for you as well. Ten of Cups is very important. It shows things coming together, shows things progressing, shows things really moving in the right direction. So I don't feel like there is something that you need to be excessively worried about because I feel like here, um, especially because the sun is in Cancer in July, and then you've also got Leo season, which is that sort of fiery energy, right? I really feel that your creativity is going to be so high in July that rhymed. Okay, wow. Moonlight the Poet is here to enchant you um, <laughs> with my really bad poetry skills. Essentially, things are coming together. There's so much more harmony. There's so much more fulfillment. There's so much more progression that you've got this extra energy, which is just allowing things to flow beautifully. So there are opportunities here where, for example, family members may be so much kinder towards you. They may bring you new ideas. They may push you in certain directions or offer you certain opportunities. You may also find here that people that around you in regards to love or if you're wanting to manifest love they're much more open to your ideas they're much more open to you they want to have conversations you know this back and forth in terms of conversation um it seems to be very nice because you finally feel heard seen understood and respected um whereas before you may have at times felt um ignored there we go ignored that's the word i was looking for so at least you feel respected and heard and content and fulfilled in the grand sort of scheme of things, which I think is obviously pretty vital and crucial um, and also very important as well. So, you know, I think that the energies here really point towards something very positive. I don't think that it's like bad or anything like that. I just feel that things are slowly but surely coming together for you and the best thing you can do is keep, keep going, you know, and keep going, keep flowing, keep progressing. Life is not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? It's, it's like that energy of just like pace it out, keep going, you know, take a break, a little one, but not, you know, to the point where you get so comfortable and then you become like the, what was it, the tortoise and the hare, right? We don't want to be the hare. It's okay to go at your own pace. You don't have to um, feel like you have to go at, you know, a different other pace. Um, so keep going at your own pace. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I mean, life isn't really a game, let's say, but it's better to go at your own pace than to rush everything and then feel like you can't handle it all. Um, which is actually important in July as well, because I think that some of you are handling a lot of things and it's important not to burn yourself out. So go at your own pace. Remember that... Ow. <laughs> 
literally just hit my elbow on the, <laughs> on the table. <laughs> That's my funny bone, but it's not funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so the chariot here is about knowing that you're in the driver's seat, all right? Don't let the chariot control you, you control the chariot, okay? Um, also, the two sphinx represent mutual harmony, balance, flow, um, and growth, so this Cancerian energy, which is exactly what we have here, right, the sun will be in Cancer um, in July as well, is a very, very strong energy of things going in the right direction, it's also about you growing, it's also about the right things and opportunities coming your way, so just know that good things are coming your way, that progression is coming your way, joy is coming your way, fulfillment is coming your way, these things are not out of the picture, it's still going to progress, it's still going to happen, but essentially, one of the most important things that you can truly, truly do is look after you, okay? One of the most important things you can truly do is look after you. And by doing that, everything around you comes together. So what am I talking about when I say that everything's going to come together? I am talking here about career opportunities with the six of wands, victory, celebration, and success. I'm talking about your family being much more progressive towards you. I'm also talking here about love and how love comes towards you rather than you always feeling like you have to chase and you always have to do something to attract them. No, no, no. You are attracting. You are not chasing. You are focusing on your path in July and allowing everything in turn to come towards you. Okay, what else am I talking about in regards to what's coming towards you? Empress, self-love. Okay, self-love and love. Love yourself and love comes towards you. Love yourself and your family is also much more respectful towards you as well because some of you have been lacking respect from your family from what I see here. Like they may just not take you seriously sometimes, you know, um, or you may have had some some issues with them in the in the past or in the recent future. Um, or in the recent past, should I say? Yeah, recent past. Um, and then, you know, so that's what they say is that fill up your cup first and then it gets... It comes back to you. Okay, what else do we have? We have here Eight of Pentacles, focus on work, focus on the things that are already happening for you. Um, don't neglect those aspects because, well, we don't want to do that, right? We don't want to, we don't want to ne neglect those aspects. Wow. I must drop the entire thing. Okay, so. Star with the Ace of Wands, okay, so if you focus on healing, um, and what is healing? Healing is letting go and having acceptance, and all your stars will start to align a lot more. Ace of Wands is creativity, so you may feel very creative, like you want to paint, or dance, or, <laughs> you know, creativity comes in so many different forms, you guys, how can I explain it? You know, as a tarot reader, this is my form of creativity, painting a bunch of things, <laughs> and sort of relaying it to what I love, you know, um, creativity is different for everyone, so think about, you know, how creativity applies to you, or things that you want to explore and do that makes you feel good, I just feel like you're going to be very creative here, especially with the sun being in Cancer. Um... Two of Pentacles, right? You're balancing and juggling a lot of things. Make sure you take a bit of time for yourself to rest so that you don't burn yourself out. Like I mentioned, slow and steady. Ace of Cups here shows an opportunity in love can also arise, as well as an opportunity in terms of uh, career, but also your family may be gifting you something. Because I feel like they're a lot nicer towards you here. They might also just be giving you lots of love and that feels like a gift, but for sure they're much more proactive and productive towards you throughout the course of July. And uh, that's one of the biggest things, actually, that we do see here is that there's a lot of progression in terms of family. We also see the fall as like an adventure. You may take a trip somewhere that just really refreshes your mind. We see that with chariot as well, because chariot is also to do with sort of like a trip and adventure. And again, we've got the knight of swords. So you are progressing. You have a lot of responsibilities, a lot to do in July. Take time for yourself, but also know that the more you give yourself, the more is coming back to you in return, right? So take care of yourself, put yourself first, and in turn, there is so much more in terms of opportunities coming back around. Take care of yourself, and love seems to reflect back as well, so that's a pretty big one, um, and that is pretty much what we do have here, so if this, of course, resonated um, with you, let me know in the comments section below, 
Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course the my intention items which are also on my website. Um, if you have a couple of minutes to spare, check out the description box below on how to nominate me for the Soul Awards because I'd really appreciate it if you would nominate me for those. Um, they are UK spiritual based awards that take place, so if you wanted to nominate me, all the information is in the description box below. And yeah, let me know how this resonates and do take care everyone. Bye.